I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 89.1 Questioner, could you first please give me the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. It is as previously stated. Question 89.2 Questioner, I have two questions, the first of which is, during the last intensive meditation here the instrument experienced very strong conditioning from an entity which did not identify itself and which did not leave when she asked it the, Would you tell us what was occurring then? Answer, I am Ra. We find the instrument to have been given the opportunity to become a channel for a previously known friend. This entity was not able to answer the questioning of spirits in the name of Christ as is this instrument's distortion of the means of differentiating betwixt those of positive and those of negative orientation. Therefore, after some resistance, the entity found the need to take its leave. Question 89.3 Questioner, was this particular entity the fifth density visitor that we have heard quite often previously? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 89.4. Questioner, is he back with us at this time? Answer, I am Ra. No. The attempt to speak was due to the vigilant eye of the minions of this entity which noted what one may call a surge of natural telepathic ability upon the part of the instrument. This ability is cyclical, of the 18 diurnal period cycle, as we have mentioned after times. Thusly, this entity determined to attempt another means of access to the instrument by free will. Question 89.5 Questioner, was this what I would refer to as an increased ability to receive telepathically over a broader range of basic frequencies so as to include not only the confederation but also this entity? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. The high point of the cycle sharpens the ability to pick up the signal but does not change the basic nature of the carrier wave. Shall we say, there is greater power in the receiving antennae? Question 89.6 Questioner, this question may be meaningless but would a fifth density entity of the Confederation who was positively polarized transmit on the same frequency as our negatively polarized fifth density companion? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct and is the reason that the questioning of all contacts is welcomed by the Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator. Question 89.7 Questioner, Question 2, Name, has also felt some conditioning which was unbidden while channeling Latwi recently and in his personal meditations. Could you also tell us what occurred in these cases? Answer, I am Ra. The entity which has been companion has a vibratory frequency but a small amount lesser than that of the social memory complex known as Latwi. Also, Latwi is the primary comforter of the Confederation for entities seeking at the vibratory complex level of the one known as Name. Therefore, this same companion has been attempting the contact of this instrument also, although this instrument would have great difficulty in distinguishing the actual contact due to the lack of experience of your companion at this type of service. Nevertheless, it is well that this instrument also choose some manner of the challenging of contacts. Question 89.8 Questioner, how many of our years ago was Ra's third density ended? Answer, I am Ra. The calculations necessary for establishing this point are difficult since so much of what you call time is taken up before and after third density as you see the progress of time from your vantage point. We may say in general that the time of our enjoyment of the choice making was approximately 2.6 million of your sun years in your past. However, we correct this instrument. Your term is billion, 2.6 billion of your years in your past. However, this time, as you call it, is not meaningful for our intervening space-time has been experienced in a manner quite and that your third density experience of space-time. Question 89.9 Questioner, it appears that the end of Ra's third density coincided with the beginning of this planet's second density. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is roughly correct. Question 89.10 Questioner, did the planet Venus become a fourth density planet at that time? Answer, I am Ra. This is so. Question 89.11 Questioner, did it later, then, become a fifth density planet? Answer, I am Ra. 
It later became a fourth fifth density planet, then, later a fifth density planet for a large measure of your time. Both fourth and fifth density experiences were possible upon the planetary influence of what you call Venus. Question 89.12 Questioner, what is its density at present? Answer, I am Ra. Its core vibrational frequency is sixth density. However we, as a social memory complex have elected to leave that influence. Therefore, the beings inhabiting this planetary influence at this space-time are fifth density entities. The planet may be considered the fifth sixth density planet. Question 89.13 Questioner, what was your reason for leaving? Answer, I am Ra. We wish to be of service. Question 89.14 Questioner, I have here a deck of 22 tarot cards which have been copied, according to information we have, from the walls of the large pyramid at Giza. If necessary we can duplicate these cards in the book which we are preparing. I would ask Ra if these cards represent an exact replica of that which is in the Great Pyramid. Answer, I am Ra. The resemblance is substantial. Question 89.15 Questioner, in other words, you might say that these were better than 95% correct as far as representing what is on the walls of the Great Pyramid? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 89.16. Questioner, the way that I understand this, then, Ra gave these archetypical concepts to the priests of Egypt who then drew them upon the walls of one of the chambers of the Great Pyramid. What was the technique of transmission of this information to the priests? At this time was Ra walking the surface among the Egyptians, or was this done through some form of channeling? Answer, I am Ra. This was done partially through old teachings and partially through visions. Question 89.17 Questioner, then at this particular time Ra had long since vacated the planet as far as walking among the Egyptians. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 89.18. Questioner, I would like to question Ra on each of these cards in order to better understand the archetypes. Is this agreeable? Answer, I am Ra. As we have previously stated, these archetypical concept complexes are a tool for learned teaching. Thusly, if we were to offer information that were not our response to observations of the student we would be infringing upon the free will of the learned teacher by being teach learner and learn teacher at once. Question 89.19 Questioner, you stated that Ra used the tarot to develop the magical personality. Was this done to mentally become the essence of each archetype and in this way develop the magical personality? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. The clothing one's self within the archetype is an advanced practice of the adept which has long studied this archetypical system. The concept complexes which together are intended to represent the architecture of a significant and rich portion of the mind are intended to be studied as individual concept complexes as matrix, potentiator, etc., in viewing mind, body, spirit connections and in pairs with some concentration upon the polarity of the male and the female. If these are studied there comes the moment when the deep threnodies and joyful ditties of the deep mind can successfully be brought forward to intensify, articulate and heighten some aspect of the magical personality. Question 89.20 Questioner, you stated that each archetype is a concept complex. Would you please define what you mean by that statement? Answer, I am Ra. Upon the face of it such a definition is without merit, being circular. A concept complex is a complex of concepts just as a molecule is a complex structure made up of more than one type of energy nexus or atom. Each atom within the molecule is its unique identity and by some means can be removed from the molecule. The molecule of water can, by chemical means, be caused to separate into hydrogen and oxygen. Separately they cannot be construed to equal water. When formed in the molecular structure which exemplifies water the two are irrefragably water. Just in this way each archetype has within it several root atoms of organizational being. Separately the overall structure of the complex cannot be seen. Together the concept complex is irrefragably one thing. However, just as it is most useful in grasping the potentials in your physical systems of the constituted nature of water, 
so in grasping the nature of an archetype it is useful to have a sense of its component concepts. Question 89.21 Questioner, in archetype 1, represented by tarot card number 1, the matrix of the mind seems to have four basic parts to the complex. Looking at the card we have, first and most obvious, the magician and what seems to be an approaching star. A stork or similar bird seems to be in a cage. On top of the cage seems to be something that seems to be very difficult at discern. Am I in any way correct in this analysis? Answer, I am Ra. You are competent at viewing pictures. You have not yet grasped the nature of the matrix of the mind as fully as is reliably possible upon contemplation. We would note that the representations drawn by priests were somewhat distorted by acquaintance with and dependence upon the astrologically based teachings of the Chaldees. Question 89.22 Questioner, when Ra originally trained or taught the Egyptians about the Tarot, did Ra act as teach learners to a degree that Ra became learned teachers? Answer, I am Ra. This distortion we were spared. Question 89.23 Questioner, then could you tell me what information you gave to the Egyptian priests who first were contacted or taught with respect to the first archetype? Is this possible for you to do within the limits of the first distortion? Answer, I am Ra. It is possible. Our first step, as we have said, was to present the descriptions in verbal form of three images, 1, 8, 15, then the questions were asked, What do you feel that a bird might represent? What do you feel that a wand might represent? What do you feel that the male represents? and so forth until those studying were working upon a system whereby the images used became evocative of a system of concepts. This is slow work when done for the first time. We may note, with sympathy, that you undoubtedly feel choked by the opposite difficulty, that of a great mass of observation upon this system, all of which has some merit as each student will experience the archetypical mind and its structure in a unique way useful to that student. We suggest that one or more of this group do that which we have suggested in order that we may, without infringement, offer observations on this interesting subject which may be of further aid to those inquiring in this area. We would note at this time that the instrument is having almost continuous pain flares. Therefore, we ask that each of the support group be especially aware of any misinformation in order that we may correct any distortions of information the soonest possible. Question 89.24. Questioner, now as I understand it, what you suggest as far as the tarot goes is to study the writings that we have available and from those formulate questions. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. No.